Sunday to do uh, both parking lots if all goes well. And you know that never happens. And so uh, it would take up the entire, most of the summer. And then once they were finished, if they went to either peach or plum, peach. Uh, it would be uh, a challenge for them to finish that street uh, in a timely fashion. So my next, uh, my next comment is, if we did contract out the you know, services, I don't disagree with the streets. I, I agree on peach and plum, in whichever word, plum first and peach. Um, but I'm really concerned if we're talking about city employees that have created damage to equipment or who do not have the knowledge to do their job, they, they that's going to go back to if they're, if they're rushing, if they're doing some things and acting right. And I, and I understand that. That's we're talking happened. about people who don't have the knowledge to do their jobs and they're in these positions, and that's something that we need to think about as well. And that's something we can talk about at a different time mm -hmm. and different subject, but uh, they have a troop. They have, he has a crew. He physically, your uh, superintendent, supervisor, he can drive the equipment. And so you have to get people up there. We have other people we've hired from somebody who experience with streets and converse. And so you have to imagine that these streets it comes with the experience because of time. And so as we go forward, we those people are not just standing around because they have to have these special CDL licenses and be able to do this equipment. But they have to actually do it. And so the parking lots will give them opportunity to do so. We have some of just our laborers. And so we'll give them opportunity for them to do that. But it's going to be a challenge to do that. And then you may be able to accomplish one parking. street. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the, uh, the issue of the concern is. And staff are just looking to give you all the information so that you can make an informed decision. Okay. okay. Uh, I just want to clarify something. Okay, the sidewalks and the parking lot and the streets don't have nothing to do with, e with each other. The sidewalks is being contracted out to someone. <coughs> We're not doing the sidewalk. Okay, so just to, so you don't know that. Uh, one doesn't intervene with the other. Right. The sidewalks is a, a red yeah. we see. You, you can't put to, them together. Yeah, yeah. Yo, we have to bid that out. That's not, we don't have, okay. there's no option on the sidewalks. Yeah, that's not important. That's not, a, that's not an option. But, but we did do the downtown revitalization that we agreed to do. Uh, EDC provide the finances and the city provide the labor. I need to keep that promise. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. This uh, piece of machinery that Connie was saying that was uh, damaged, are we going to be, is that what we would use for the streets, Henry? Or, or it's, it's, been it's been repaired. It's been repaired. So it's ready. The maintainer. The big old stuff. Okay. We even kept the old one. Uh, I think Councilman, I mean, you were talking that we need to fix the hydraulics. So we yeah. kept the old one as well and fixed that as well. So we're ready. It just that I think we have a lot of projects, and I don't think uh, we're going to be spreading ourselves too thin if that's not the right word. Because we can't, we don't want to rush them on the parking lots. Our, that parking lot in the back, those are, they're going to take it all the way down, put a lot of base in it. That's why it's so much material, because we need to bring it out to code. And so we're going to do a real parking lot behind there, but we've made that commitment, and I don't want to spread the staff too thin to do a decent street and the parking lots. And you need to have some results, as people are going to be saying, they be voting in 2020. I, I don't have that wisdom, that's why you want to sit there, so we're looking for your direction. Okay, so thank you, um, Council, again, we're going back to it. Parking lots, that's, our guys are going to do the parking lots. There's no question about that. The, the sidewalks are going to be contracted out. And I think it sounds like, from what I'm understanding, that the council is, is in agreement that Plum and Peach need to be the first two streets. Now the question from the council will be Plum, Street. Plum, Plum, yes. Plum and then Peach. Plum and then Peach Street. And now the question for the council to decide is whether we do it in-house or whether we contract it out. So I think we've discussed and discussed and discussed. So I will, um, yes, a citizen's comment? Yes, ma'am. No Good evening, uh, Madam Mayor, Council members, and those here present. My name is Roy Grant. I have about 17 years experience with civil engineering. And I will have to ask a question to the contractor and the city, the city can do the same thing. This is in regard that when we laid the asphalt, it had to be tested for density and had to have the tools to do that. And I'm very sure he can do that. Now the city had the equipment to do the density test as we roll that asphalt. So therefore, this is, this is not done and the city does it, but it's not tested. If the road was going to last 20 years, maybe six, seven years, we have to go back in again if the density had not passed the test. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Um, one thing, and the engineer knows, anytime you contract work out, you're paying double of what of what it's worth. Double, not a third or twenty percent. It's usually fifty percent of on, on the contractor side. That's not true. I don't agree with that. Okay. Oh, no. No. So that's that's the reason I, I've always said we do it in house. It's always because. Uh, we, we have our, our inspectors, we have everybody that, that could be following us, you know, to do the same thing. And we have all our equipment that we already purchased everything. We spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get everything. They said that that's what we needed to do roads. We already have that, and now we're going to contract it out. I don't think it's feasible for us to do it. For the million dollars, you could do a lot, a lot of work. Okay, we've, we've gone through this a couple of different times. Mm -hmm. So, um, Mr. Ortiz, I'll let you brief me, and yes. then we will take it uh, to the council. It is not double like my uh, colleague said. What, uh, what I want to do is do the, the, the overlay, to, which is asphalt, right? Okay. It's, it's your overlay. Nice, smooth surface. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the motion, Madam Mayor. If, uh, okay, will you clear it up, the motion that oh, you want? There's, there's, there's no, no motion. Okay. Is there a motion? Yes, there, there is. To approve the, um, I'll entertain a motion to approve. The streets of uh, plum and peach with the overlay, mill and overlay for uh, contractors. Okay. Both of them? Well, we, we could do one and, and then go, go to peach, like, like I said. With, with our crew. Oh, okay, then we're, we're getting yeah, a little confusing here. Yeah. Now, um, the engineer will have to read it. There's an economy to scale. And so the more asphalt or more that you buy, it's a different rate. So you buy less seating rate. And so um, we have enough to keep the street busy. I'm just saying that uh, it, if the, the more streets that you do, the cheaper the asphalt will be because uh, the less you buy. And so it, you know, it depends. If you buy, you know, six tons, then they say, okay, this is your price. If you buy 50 tons, they have a different price for that. And so just keep that in mind. Sure. Okay. Okay, another, another thing that... Well, no, I had a motion on the floor. Yes, but I need, we need to specify something before we make okay. a motion. Okay. Is that price 250000 to do all of Plum Street from the 181 to to 4th Street or to where? Yes. And that's for with uh, overlaid or... That's overlaid, yes. It yeah, might be less. And it, that's with a contractor? Yes, yes. So we got So we're we're talking half a million there or less. Quicker time? You mean for both of them? Both of them. Half a million. So if, if there's any confusion, I'll go ahead and make a motion for for the old overlay, mail and overlay. The, the the first screen will be plum, the second will be peach, and to sub it out. To the lowest and best Okay, I've got to figure out what the Okay, I have a motion mm -hmm. on the floor by uh, Councilman Ortiz. Mm -hmm. Do I have a second? Okay. No second. Motion fails. Do I have another motion on the floor pertaining to this? I'll make a motion to do Plum Street next and put the next street after the parking lot where we do it in house. And with, if we need to hire extra part timers to do to do that road. Okay, I have a motion on the on the floor by Councilman Jimenez to uh, do Plum Street after our uh, in house after our department finishes parking lots. Do I have a second? Okay. 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 Uh, Council, do y'all have any other suggestions? And I'll I'll give the floor to Mr. Ortiz briefly, but I'd like to hold on and, uh, after Mr. Ortiz, let everybody or let the next person. I mean, it's one option or the other. Council members, come on, let's 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 do what what is best. Let's at least vote for that one or this one. Well, I have a motion also. I have a clarifying question to the second motion. Uh, Councilman Jimenez, you said um, to hire part-time 
Contract like, maintenance? Contract, like, yes. contract rollers. To assist. Even if we needed some sort of equipment. We testing have all the equipment. equipment. Like testing yeah. equipment. Do we have testing? The testing equipment, we don't have it. Does that include that hiring out portion? Yes. Reason? Okay. Do we have the testing equipment? Uh, no, ma'am, we do not, but that is something that we can contact as when it comes to test if you want to at that time. <coughs> we can have that testing. I just, I just need to have a quick question if you want to do outside or in house. All contractors hire. Yeah, there's, a, there's a third party that usually will come in and do a slump test or do whatever test they need to do and give you a certificate or whatever. So it's a third party that typically would do so. Okay, how about if, um, how long do you think it's going to take you all, Mr. Renee, to finish the parking lot? It just depends how long that water department stays in there. They're, they have a big task in front of them. They're all different kind of utilities and telephones and gas lines and everything back there. Because we need to do that and before we put the, the top on it. But it's not enough time for them to start on the street and finish. So they're, what they're doing right now is finishing up all the work orders, the potholes, and all those overlays that he needs to do now. They're finishing up that now. And then as soon as water's there, they're ready to hop on one parking lot, they need to continue to the next one. And if we hire a contractor, do we have to tell, you know, can, can we just hire them for one street and then if we like their job or the, what they're doing, hire them for another? I know you said to, if we buy the... A, yes, you can hire a contractor for one street. I'm just saying that it, it's just cheaper for the asphalt if, you, if he's here to do two because, uh, because, you know, he's ABC contractor, he can call the asphalt company and they come right away. They're going to pay to the people who buy the most. They get the first, you know, dibs, and so um, you would have to think about that in reference to the asphalt overlay. Uh, but uh, you probably have less bidders come out for one street, but your engineer could tell you that more than that. Yeah, it, uh, generally, uh, when you hire a contractor, you're telling him exactly what streets to do and, and how to do them. There are other innovative contracting methods. One is a job order contract, where he bids on uh, a list of quantities and unit prices, he's awarded the contract and then you hand him projects. You say, go do F Street. And then you take quantities and you add them up and, then, and that's the, the, the lump sum price that he gets. So that is another way to do it. Uh, generally, if, you, if you're in the size of it at any point in time and want streets to do that, that's the way to go. It, it's, uh, it's innovative and it's not used that often. It's a little more difficult to manage, but it is doable. What would you suggest, Ms. Turner? Uh, th this is a hard one, Councilman. But if you want to have some success, to have some completed streets, more than one street. Thank you, Mr. Reddy. Okay. If you need to have more than one street completed uh, before it's time for election, then I would recommend that you go out and contract it out so that we can have some completed streets. It would also allow our staff to complete a lot of the overlays and the fix to do so. So if you decide to keep it in house, we're going to work really hard to complete one street. Maybe. We're going to work really hard to do one street. Maybe. Hopefully, if we can pick uh, two to three streets, depending on the funding, we can identify them. Uh, then we can do it for the outsource. We can maybe do that. But there's plenty of things for them to do other than potholes and stuff. We've got to do those parking lots. And so it's going to stress them. So you can get parking lots and one street. If you keep it in house, if you go out, you may get two to three streets, depending on uh, the cost of asphalt, which goes up and down because it has a lot of oil in it, and I know oil prices affects asphalt. Madam Mayor, I would I would like to try in. Okay, Council, I know there's been a lot of talk up here, so um, I don't know. any other comments by the council members before we entertain some kind of motion? Yes. May I have a floor again, Madam Mayor? So that may be clear. Yes. Like uh, Renee said, we do not have the experience, the city. City employees are not equipped. They don't have the experience, ladies and gentlemen. You don't say equipped, we just got everything. No, we don't have all of it. Yeah. We're not equipped. Are we equipped, uh, Henrietta, right now? We have purchased quite a bit of community okay. equipment. However, 
there would be some things we would have to rent or borrow. And the county has stepped up to the plate and said that we can use some of their equipment. <coughs> but uh, you have to remember when a contractor comes out on his job, he's coming out with 15 or 20 guys. That's everybody I have in public works. So they're coming out with a crew, and that's what they do every day, all day. And so uh, they're coming in with, it, it's heavy. it does cost a lot more, but they're coming in heavy lifting. And so it's, it's up to the county, and I know I can see it's a hard decision. So you know it's been a hard decision for myself. Uh, we've gone back and forth. It is a hard decision, and so we're just asking for direction for us to be able to do that so that we can uh, hopefully meet your Senator expectations. I asked you one question. That, do we have the equipment to do streets or, ourselves? That's what they asked you. I don't have everything. Thank you. Excuse me. What do you not have? The zipper I don't have. The asphalt do you have access to one already? Yes, sir. I have access to one, and the county said that they would allow us to use your equipment. But I thought your question was, do I have everything? And I don't have. I am missing a few components, but it's not like I can't go get them, rent them, or borrow them. I don't think you have an oil truck, do you, distributor? Yes, we do. Yes, we have oil truck. You can distribute that? That's right. Yes. Okay. Um, this is going on, but I have council. I was going to ask you, Ms. Turner, if we go out for contracts, do you have to take bids and we yes. have to vote on the people that are going to? Absolutely. Yes. And, and, uh, Yes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, make a motion that um, we hire contractors for Peach Street and Plum Street, like Mr. Ortiz said, and then um, the rest will spend, we shouldn't, well, we shouldn't spend more than half a million on that. And then the rest, we can in-house. The rest of the streets. Okay, I have a motion on the floor. Basically the same one that Mr. Ortiz had by Councilwoman Ken Chu. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Ortiz. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Okay. All those opposed. What was it? Actually, Mayor, I really am, uh, to be honest with you, I'm really confused about all this because I'm not sure that we're, that what route should we take? Mm -hmm. So, so I, on, on, the, on the board, when we, I mean, on, on the council, choo -choo. to this two two. So technically, uh, are you abstaining from the vote? She, 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 she doesn't know. Can we have like a, a meeting or something? Sure. Sure. We can pay with this. I was going to say, I I would like to just say that, of course, there's been a motion and a second. Right. But to. Mayor, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, I'm not sure. Can I just There's make a suggestion? Yes. Hold on, hold so on. Kind of There's too many people talking at one uh, time. We, I know that we may have to call for a special meeting uh, for another item, totally unrelated. And so we can have um, some more discussion at that time. You have all the information that you want to place that on that special meeting uh, that, that you are anticipating calling. And I know the attorney may have a, a time for us that we need to call within the next week or so. We can put it on that agenda. Is that better for everybody? We'll feel comfortable that you can take, take in line. and mill it over? I'll take my back line. Yeah. You have, yes, you're right. You do have a motion as well. I'll take okay. it back. Okay. Have I have a motion, motion on the floor, but now um, yeah. Cantu is rescinding her motion. So um, I would encourage every council member to study the options. As Mrs. Turner said, there's a very good possibility that we will be having a special meeting very soon, possibly next week. If not, um, this will be this could be put back on the agenda in two weeks. So I would have to, uh, we're gonna rescind Mrs. Mm -hmm. Cantu's motion, and I will entertain a motion to table this until, and so I'm gonna leave that up to the council to make a motion. I'll, we'll I'll make a motion to table it. Okay, I have a motion on I the second. floor. second. Uh, motion on the floor, and second, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. She has to rescind it first, ma'am. She she did. Did. She did. She did. She did. Thank you. Mr. Turner and, and, and Mr. Uh, Binovides will start on the parking lot, right? Oh, yes. Yes, that's a motion. Yes. Okay, now that that is taken care of, uh, please, Council, make sure to study the proposals. Thank you, Mr. Turk, for being here. And then we will let you know on this special meeting, if not the meeting in two weeks from tonight. Is there, is there any other information that I can provide you all that? And I don't make this decision. Has already said and done. I'm going to Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. That's the right.
Thank you. Ortiz, we didn't need to register your vote on that paper. We did we missed your vote. Did you vote at the table? I'm sorry, we may have missed your vote. She just didn't get a chance to record that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. citizens comments. And thank you, citizens, for being your patience during all that. Good evening, uh, Madam Mayor and City Council members. I think this is just what I've heard and what I've seen, you know, going on tonight. The streets, the parking lots, all of that is a part of the Floresville community. I would like to see, as Councilman Ortiz said, those are priorities. I mean, you said five years ago, and it's been, nothing has been done, you know? We want to see something nice for floors, or I do, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do. And money is, no doubt, you know, a big factor. But saying that, I think if he needs help, because he sounds like he's overwhelmed, then Chuck, it's, it, and that just gave a really good presentation, I think, on my part. And I'm just saying, Get, at least give it a shot and give it a try. And I'm not saying that your crew is not good enough. I'm just saying if they need help, then, then just get it. You know? If it's going to benefit Forsville in the long run, 20 years from now, 30 years, without having to do any other maintenance prior to that, then I think it's worth it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to go back up. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Greg Gonzalez, Floresdale. It's, it's pretty obvious that what you're dealing with here is very difficult. But it just seems to me that this is not the forum to do it in. That you need to have a complete staff or completed staff work done before you get to this point. Maybe a workshop where you can have a package that you can really understand thoroughly all the, the, uh, the outcomes of it and uh, the things that go with it and then you can make a decision. At this level, it's very difficult to do the work you're trying to do tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. And I think we should have it, Ms. Turner. Hold on, Ms. Councilman. Okay. Hi, Councilman Mayor. Um, Michelle Zaramora, Floresville. Um, has the city considered grants to supplement the $1 million that you all have? For the there, there are no grants for streets and public improvements. I, I was just doing research, and there are, there are rural transportation grants. I would, I would get to those. But uh, we need to use those funds, uh, those uh, maintenance funds are from our sales tax that we set aside, that the citizens vote to set aside on our sales tax to make these improvements. And so we need to be able to make improvements. We even had discussions, and we've had discussions for some time, even to borrow against that money to get all the money up front and collect it all up front uh, to do streets, but that was not an option that they chose to do. Well, I realize it's probably a moot point at this, at this uh, point in time because you are looking to do something in the next six months, but for next year, consideration of rural transportation grants are, are out there by the Federal Highway Trans Transportation Administration. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miss okay. um, Turner, I was going to ask if we could have a special meeting before we have the next meeting so we can Work, discuss a workshop. A workshop. <coughs> so we can discuss all the options. You know, all the uh, options. Yes, as I said, th th there's a particular item that's coming up before you. I'll be asking you to host a special meeting, uh, which is a very quick meeting. Uh, we can take a quick vote on that one, a housekeeping kind of thing, and then we can spend some time uh, discussing and debating this issue again at that workshop. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move on to, uh, to item 2C, because I think that's important. That kind of coordinates with what we're looking at. And that is our spectrum update in the damages. <coughs> Yes, good evening, Madam Mayor and, and City Council members. Uh, I would like to inform you that I did speak with Mr. Barry King. It was late last month. He acknowledged receipt of all our documentation. If you will remember, Ms. Turner actually gave each and every one of you a, a very thick copy of all the damages that we have forward to Spectrum. He advised at that time uh, that he had disseminated them and had sent them out to the local construction supervisors. And if we could please give him a little bit of time there so that he could evaluate that and then he'd call us back so that we could go ahead and schedule a meeting. One thing that's been on my mind concerning schedule is that the franchise tax. 
Um, uh, all of the Spectrum customers have been paying our franchise tax, and if you could would check into seeing where, where and when we could expect some money. Okay, I will do that, Madam Mayor. Okay. Any questions by the council? Okay. If not, moving on to uh, item 2D, employee health insurance. Um, Mrs. Cantu. The only thing I was going to say is that if you could start bringing some vendors in, uh, so uh, maybe we can um, to see if uh, the employees can have lower rates and more um, coverage. Okay. Uh, we put in your package the employee benefit package information. And so we have a broker that does that for us. But what you have to remember is that when we go out to bid, which usually sometime in uh, we started in July or August. We go out at the beginning of the year. Uh, they have to get all our information. You, they do your census and then they shop it around to see what it is and they bring that into them. Uh, it's not the time at this point, but um, if you look at where we were uh, before, uh, everybody's having the best benefit package that we can. Uh, we did list, I think I asked the, um, to list um, what we have going on, uh, what we get for a family, uh, what you have to pay. Uh, for, to, and you have to remember that um, it's a moving target for health. I mean, every day you look on TV, the federal government is talking about how they're changing Obamacare. Uh, the state of Texas sued and referenced sued if Obamacare was uh, official. So uh, we have now Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is one of the uh, best type of things to provide that. Uh, our copay went up to $30, um, but uh, there is a, a issue. And our premium dumped a little bit, so we saved some money. We even to help out with employees rather than take it over uh, 24, 24 payments, we went to 26 payments, which allowed uh, staff to have less of a to do. So we can look at it again, but um, that's in July, August when I'll come before you. We huh? can't at this time. And you said we have a broker that does that? We have a local broker, which is Tally Benefits. Uh, he comes and he shops it because you have to give everybody's age, social security number, birthday, how many people in your family. It's a really uh, kind of thing that you don't want everybody to know, but he goes out and shop with Kennedy Cross Blue Shield and other uh, companies. We did go to TML and whew, that was not necessarily nice. We also, in the last time we moved Blue Cross Blue Shield, we let them do our dental and our vision because the more that they have, they drop the rates for us. So we can only have one broker, Ms. Uh, you can have other brokers, it's just that there's more people that know your business and so he's a local. Uh, and um, so when anybody has a claim or has to do something with the hospital, they need to be something to go to C Street and they walk the claims through for them. Uh, other brokers are in San Antonio and other areas, but he's a local bro broker. Now, he does get a commission, but we don't pay the commission. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield or United Healthcare, whoever it is, plays his commission as a broker. Okay, all I, all I want is to bring vendors in so we can compare, you know, the prices. I mean, whatever is the benefit for the employees, that's what I want. Yes, and so that, that he'll do that, but he comes to you back in July. That's when we uh, broker it, because it's a sign-up time, and all our programs get the same thing. Same thing for our dental, our vision, and our medical at that point. Well, see, that's what I don't want, since last year when I asked, he said it, wasn't, it was already too late to bring in uh, different uh, vendors, because... Well, you keep saying bring in vendors. Do you mean you actually are a representative from Duke the Shield here? Well, different, I mean, from different insurances, so they can come and tell us, you know, this is better, or different this brokers. one's better. Or, oh, she wants it for brokers in this city. Okay. Different insurance companies. And whatever insurance company we... Okay. So we, we can shop for a different broker. And so if you want a different insurance broker, then he can go out and get it. But they're all going to get the same rates. But you just want a different representative in reference to do that, is what you're saying? Not necessarily. I'm saying that... Um, since he is from here, I'm saying that, you know, like, if Prudential, I mean, whatever insurance <coughs> there's out there, there's a lot of insurances, right? Okay. So you want to shop over. When he comes to do his comparison, you want tele benefits to look, uh, to spread a wider net. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I can have him to look at that. And maybe even I'll contact Tally to see what are our potential people that mm -hmm. we can do to give us some other people other than Blue Cross Blue Shield. But you do have to be mindful that we have to think about what, um, position that we have here that can be on the list um, where they're going, but I'll see if we can uh, broaden that search and reference to Blue Cross to get the best bang for our duck. But uh, oh, health okay. insurance is expensive. Yes. Uh, Henrietta, another thing you might want to look at, 
See, they, they usually go on numbers. How many, <coughs> how many the city, how many employees the city has? Yes. Is there a way that, that we could join in with the health sport that we have more more people and you get a better rate? I'm not quite sure who uh, does Phelps. Mayor could speak to that. You can partner together. Uh, I mean, the county. We own. Well, that's that's a.